what would you say is the key to success in rising up the corporate world that you would advise people they should do? I really advise people as I'm mentoring them to look at these roadblocks as opportunities because you're going to have them. And I, I sometimes I get a little frustrated because, you know, some will, you know, people that I mentor believe that this is like a conveyor belt, like it's just easily going to happen. And, you know, sometimes you have to look at, you know, in my career, I took probably three lateral jobs and probably maybe even more uh, setbacks financially just to get the development. You know, like I said, I left Kimberly Clark as group president and came into Walmart as a regional vice president. But, you know, it was important for me to learn a new skill set. And I, I hope that this generation is patient enough to make those decisions. So you're finishing up your 10th year as chair of Spelman's board. Yes. So what's it like to go to the college and become the chairman for 10 years? And um, what is the biggest problem that college students have at a place like Spelman these days? Well, one is affordability. Um, the cost of higher education is escalating. And so I would say that affordability is, is one of the issues. And then second, if I look at this point in time right now, we have what I will call the pandemic um, teenagers attending college right now. And they had a lot of social and emotional um, impacts. And so many college campuses are addressing that with increased counseling because it's, it's, it's real. And what will you hope ultimately your legacy to be when you retire 40 years from now? You know, I hope um, that people can talk about, you know, the opportunity they had to work at Walgreens. Um, I am, you know, I was that person that was low on the totem pole that needed to escalate. I hope that people can talk about what their experiences were as an, as an employee.